Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Daruk and this is episode 4 of Silent Hill 2. In the last episode, we explored the hospital as well as some of the um, outskirts of the city, I guess, of Silent Hill. Uh, we ran into Eddie and a uh, little girl called Laura, who's a little rascal, a little, little rapscallion, uh, you might say. Uh, and she she really tried to get us killed, I guess. So that's awesome of her. Um, you know, she's a little bit wacky. Uh, so right now, I don't know what's going on. Pyramid Head is still a problem. Maria, uh, not Mary, Maria, who is not our wife, but looks like our wife and is also seemingly sick like our wife, uh, is sick <laughs> in bed in a haunted in a haunted hospital, so we got that to deal with. Um, so I don't really know where we're going. I realized at the end of the episode that we got kind of wheeled out of the hospital. That was what was happening. That's what it seemed like from the editing. I was really confused when I initially saw it. So we still got more of the hospital to do. So I think that's where I mean that's it. That's the episode, I guess. Like we'll see what happens. It's honestly impossible to predict what's going to happen in this game. Like it's literally so off the wall it's kind of incredible so let's get started all right guys let's see what kind of demented bullshit we have in this episode <laughs> uh oh, i keep oh man dude i always forget how loud this game is oh okay we're just in a box here that's lovely we got wheeled out i thought but maybe we got dropped off a roof or something i can't inspect above me Okay. That's awesome, man. I love that. Okay. We're going through here. Uh, I'm sorry. It's been a few days since I've played. So just trying to remind myself of the controls. So we are on the first floor. We can take the elevator, but let me... I don't want to. Oh, I let me just do one. I just want to get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Fucking Christ. Okay, that was a good way to start. Awesome. Something just broke some glass. What was that, man? Oh. Jesus! She just went in swinging. God damn, man. These nurses are crazy. I actually almost died there. Can we do this actually? Let's just reload this. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so we have done everything we can. Oh, we can go into the garden? Oh yeah, but the garden doesn't lead us to anywhere. Okay, cool. So we have explored everywhere on this floor, it would seem. Let me double check these rooms I just entered, just so I didn't miss anything. And so yeah, I, I know that James will look at items that he can interact with. But when there's like killer nurses and pyramid head and random little girls and all this stuff going on, I just forget or I don't pay attention to it. Um, so I'm going to try to be more focused on that, but I'm honestly a little bit. The game is very distracting. Um, it's hard to stay focused in this kind of game for me anyway. For you guys, you might be cool as a cucumber. 
All right, so we have checked this place out. Let's, I guess let's see what Maria's up to, see if she's good. We found Laura and maybe she had, oh God, what, why are there hands here? I am not happy. I'm not happy. What's going on with the environment? Oh no, man. What is this? Is this turned into some demented renaissance museum, a horror show? Like what? What is going on? There's a painting of a woman on the door. Oddly enough, the hand part of the painting is actually 3D and sticks out. And I don't need to hear the screeches, lady. God damn, I hate this game. <laughs> it is so disturbing. Uh, all right, let me turn this down even more. I swear I get jump scared by the freaking um, screams. The radio, I'm also gonna adjust the volume a little bit, but the radio is fine for the most part. Um, okay, so, all right, deep breath, man. Oh God. Okay, we haven't been up here. That's why I didn't... It's not... The environment didn't change. What did I pick up? <laughs> I'm just clicking on stuff. Restores energy by relieving pain. Effects are powerful. So that might be a full heal. Let's also switch to this. Let's not use up all of our shotgun ammo. We don't have that many. There's a piece of paper on the bed. Just some doodle. Huh. Something is written on it. She is an angel no one knows. Only I can see the lady of the door. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. Like bloated and ugly corpses, their sins she devours them. Sin and sinner alike, she saves me. She is an angel. Oh, sin and sinner alike, she saves me. She is an angel. Yeah, okay. That made a lot of sense. I got that. On the first read, really. Uh, I know some of you might take a while to pick up on those kinds of clues. Not me. Um, definitely understood that. This is literally the worst hospital on the planet. Normally, you see this many nurses, you're smiling, bro. What is that in my left ear, man? There are empty medicine bottles here. Is this what Maria was taking? Is Maria sick now too? What do you mean now? We knew she was sick. Wait, have- Okay, I feel like I have been in this room. Okay, so I have been here. It just reset. It just reset the map. Okay, so I definitely was here. Don't know why we heard demonic noises in there. Maria's a little bit of a demon. And now we can't go into the bath. Okay, see, okay, so it just changed. It did change, I was right on the first. Oh, it just, this game just makes you having, like you doubt yourself. You're like, oh, I guess I wasn't here. Cause there's fucking hands sticking out of a door. I, I, I'm pretty sure I got that on the first time through. Oh, wow, weird angle there. I'm gonna kick you, boom. Headshot. There's another one. Okay, hold on. Let me get a better angle so I can actually... Kick to the head. Okay. Yeah, things are changing. That's fine. I, I, I accept that. I've embraced it. <sighs> okay, so this I can interact with. This I can. Oh, yay. This looks nice. There's nothing useful here. We can't go that way, but we can maybe go here. This is the elevator. Okay, I don't want to. I want to see if I can try this door first. 
I can. Oh, there's a save point. Ah, oh, yes, the red light. Let's see what the roof is like. I've got a feeling we're gonna get the fact that there's a save. Oh, well, never mind. Never mind. What? What's the point? There's no hope. Okay. Um, let's see this. Oh, so we can't even go to the second floor. Unless, let's try the, uh, elevator. I'm sure the elevator will take us to the second floor. But it doesn't move. How very curious. How very interesting. Let's try this elevator. I love this door. Painter really went all out. Okay, let's go to the second floor. See, we can go here. I'm just trying to enjoy my drink, man. Sorry. Sorry if I slurped there, too. That's my bad. Do these nurses look different? Some of them look more like rotted than others, but I don't know. That might be again, I, I can't, I don't know what's real and what's not. Why are their hands? I feel like the nurses like physical state looks more like rotten, if that makes sense. Oh boy, can't wait to see what this is. I was locked up inside the basement's basement. It was so small and dark and I was so afraid. I dropped my precious ring, but I will never ever go back there. Like how James is just like, yeah. I feel that buddy. Henry Jamerson. James Henryson. I get the dry cell battery. I got the basement store key. Part of the wallpaper is torn. I can see something drawn on the wall beneath. Oh, whoops. Are those hands searching for something? Or are they just a sign of pain? Wow. We're getting really philosophical here. Honestly, not a bad call in such a demented place. I'd get philosophical. I would come come to terms with my reality. Yeah, so interesting interaction is if I am moving forward while reloading, my forward input continues. So that's actually borderline suicidal. Um, let me kick! I just wish to kick! Um, Cause like, you're running at them while not being able to shoot, so it's quite sketchy. Man. It's also, I don't know if this is a graphical glitch, but you can see that the nurses have like a weird glowing point on their heads. But I think that's like a weird light animation. Um, cool, anyway. Anyway. Oh, mama. <laughs> oh, mama. Oh, I thought you were down. Sorry. Sorry, King, I got you hit there for no reason. Mm hmm. I think this was locked. Yeah. Okay. Everything's fucking locked, man! Ah, not this, though. Whoa, is this- this is new. I don't think we've been in a day room. There's something that looks like a refrigerator. Will you open it? Why not? Why not, man? There's gonna be a- Laura's gonna be in there. Or something's gonna grab me. You're weak as hell, bro. Start lifting, bro. Okay. It's no good. The door is too heavy to open by myself. Okay. Get Laura. She looked jacked. I'm sure she can help us. Um, 
Okay. We get Maria and Laura, the sick woman and the little child. We might have the strength to open this refrigerator. Um, oh, I like the little, that's a nice little fridge drawing, man. Um, all right, well, we're just going down the elevator. Oh boy. I'm still waiting. So we got, we got demon nurses and we got demon patients. Oh, actually, no, we need to go. We need to go to the third floor. My bad. Uh, cause I think we need to take the stairwell down. Um, where's the, so we got, we need the, we need the doctors, right? Where's the doctors at? Bro, that, that jump scares me. Just seeing hands there. It's not a jump scare. So I guess it just scares me. <laughs> Whatever, man. I'm going to save again. Hit them saves. Oh, man. Deep breaths, bro. Okay, before we go into this room, another delicious drink of Pepsi. Mm -mm. Oh, and we can go into the basement now. That's so good. That's so good. Nothing better than a hospital basement. Cozy. Inviting. Yeah, so we can't even go here. All right. Well, we, we got one place to go. If we get any more of those weirdos that are flying in the ceiling, there's a shelf here. There are red handprints on the shelf. Move the shelf. Why not? Damn, bro. You can't open a refrigerator door, but you got that with one hand. I respect that. James. Oh, Jesus. Mary. Fuck. Mary. <laughs> it's you. I thought you were... Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad What did he think? That's good. Who thought she... Anyway! What do you mean, anyway? Jesus Christ! You don't sound very happy to see me. I was almost killed back there. No Why shit. Why didn't you try to save me? All you care about is that dead one. What are you talking about? <laughs> I've been so scared in my okay. whole life. You couldn't care less about me, could you? No, I... <laughs> no, I could... Stay with me. <laughs> oh my Don't God. ever leave me alone. I'm so... You're supposed to take care of me. <laughs> so, what about Laura? Did you find her? Yeah, but... She ran away. And tried to get me killed. We've got to find her. You really seem to care about her. Do you know her? I've never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone. And for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protect her. That's so strange. Okay. That was insane. I'm sorry. We she said let me le like leave me here. I'm good. Even though we're in the murder ho like the murder hotel, the murder hospital. Murder hotel is a great name too. That's like a band name. But anyway, anyway, we le she 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 signed up for that shit. I'm sorry. I and her uh, like mood swing there was crazy. And where the hell did she come from? <laughs> but when this chick just appears, I'm telling she's a freaking ghost. She's a ghost. I'm saying that now. I'm actually calling that. I thought, where the fuck did she come from? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> so lost. All right, let's just jump down here. I don't give a fuck. Cool. Oh, yeah, that's great. I got the copper ring. Yeah, how you doing? Also, create like sometimes the cutscenes are like animated or other times are like in game engine. I wonder what the point of that is. Like, I mean, I just assume that's a resource thing. They really go all out with Maria. What the hell did I pick up? I picked up a copper ring. 
let me looks like I can't use that here yeah so I still don't really see it I think I'm insane uh, I don't see it at all but it might just be the hair and the makeup changes it oh, I don't know what we're gonna do with this freaking knife either bro um just an ordinary dry cell battery. It looks like there's the same type of battery that the flashlight uses. I found it on the basement of the hospital. It's engraved with a picture of a ring. I don't know what I'm supposed to combine that with. Can I combine it with a battery? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know either, man. I'm just, I'm just spitballing here. So now we got Maria. Dude. I, I, that's gotta be Laura or it's a, gotta be a demon baby. I really don't have the mental fortitude to deal with the demon baby. I'm going to say that right now. Um, God damn it. This game. She also freaking jump scared the shit out of me. I'm honestly getting mad. <laughs> I'm getting so scared I'm mad. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh what's the freaking plan, bro? I guess we try this out. Yeah, what's up? Maybe we give the ring to the uh to the hands. Why not? I know we got given a hint, so I feel like this is too easy, but I'll put the copper ring on the hand of the lady in the painting. Oh, she loved it. <laughs> it's unlocked. Um, she didn't love it. Let me read the memos real quick. Uh, the basement's basement. I dropped my precious ring. So we got that, right? Oh, what the hell? Oh, is that it? Okay. She is an angel. No one knows. Only I can see the lady of the door. Well, I see her too. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. Like a bloated and ugly corpse. There's... Okay, I don't know where this thread's coming from. We got rid of the hair. Here, give her a battery? No, she doesn't like the battery? Huh, strange. Strange. If that were me, I'd, I'd love a dry cell battery. My favorite. Can I ask her about the freaking pile of drugs? Like we literally went back for her. I feel she gaslighted us there. That was unfair. Abusive relationship. Yeah, we're not gonna talk to her about it? Okay. That's cool, bro. Oh, yeah, there she is. Right in my face. Every time I turn a corner. I love that. Oh, you know what? Let's try the freaking um, uh, the thingy, the fridge. We got the strength of a sick woman. Honestly, that might be enough. Who knows? Uh, I think we have to go to the elevator, actually. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, come on. Please. Hey, get out of the way! <laughs> um, she seems fine now, though. So she just needed some time to recover. Um, we go to this elevator. Okay. And our lucky, or should I 
I say, unlucky challenger today is James. This is Mr. Sunderland. Door. Sunderland. Let's go. It's Henry James Sunderland. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Lakeside amusement. Park. I don't know. Okay. Quickly on to question number two. Oh shit. Witnessed a gruesome murder a few years back. A brother and sister were playing in the road when they were. I don't remember the name of the guy who did it. This is so bizarre. <laughs> I was not expecting a game show. What a gruesome end to such What was the name of the I remember reading the story, but not the name, man. One, Walter Sullivan. Two, Scott Fairbanks. Three, Eric Gaines. I think it was one. It was Walter. South of the lake is a deserted old neighborhood called South Vale. From there to Pale Vale, the central resort area northwest of the lake, there's only one road you can take. Just one road, no more. The third and final question is, what is the name of that road? One, Bachman Road. Two, Rindell Street. Three, Nathan Avenue. Well, that's the last of our questions. Have you got it all figured out? When you know the answers, head to the storeroom on the third floor to collect your prizes. But be careful if you're wrong. <laughs> well then, everybody. Thanks for coming. Okay, in. good. We got time to Here refer. I'm going to write these down. Bye -bye. I was panicking, guys. This is the longest elevator ride as well. What was that? <laughs> what was that? Okay. I love this game. I hate this game. I, it's the worst game. It's the best game. Uh, <laughs> this is what I mean. You can't predict this shit. What the hell are they talking about? Where did that come from? Um, all right. I do it. Okay, I would have gotten that one. Okay, so it's Walter Sullivan for two, right? Walter Sullivan... Um, now I've already forgotten the second and third questions. Um, one of them, okay. One of them we have to refer to the map for. Okay. So we might need to refer to both of them for the map. I don't care about this Brookhaven bullshit. Okay. There we go. Um, oh, it's just Lakeside Amusement Park. Okay. So we know that for the first one. Lakeside Amusement and it's Nathan Avenue, I think. It was leading to Paleville, right? It's either that or it's Sanford Street. No, South Vale, right? It was South Vale, it's Nathan Avenue. My, I think I, that's Nathan. I, I actually forgot what the question was. I think it had something to do with South Vale, though. Okay. I hope that's all right. Um, the storeroom in the third floor, they said? Okay. We'll go there. Um, help me with the refrigerator first. How's that sound? Maria, please help me out. You can't open it? Yeah. Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. You're supposed to be the big man around Don't here. Don't reinforce gender a stereotypes. Supposed to help. You're, a, you're a big girl, okay? You're an adult woman. 
There you see, look at that. Yes, I know I was making fun of her a while ago, but that was cute, a joke. You James, you take it. Mm, thanks. Wow. Thanks. See you. Okay, good thing we had, an, I thought we were gonna get jumped, but when we had Maria with us, I felt safe. Um, there's nothing in the refrigerator anymore. A hideous smell is coming from inside. Well, there's a dead person in another fridge. Okay, let's head to the storeroom. Okay. This should be interesting. Well, that's great because I forgot the questions. The question number. Oh, this sucks. There's no way we can check. No, no. Okay, you just get gassed. Okay, well, I wasn't that bad. Oh, I almost died. <laughs> Not that bad. Okay, let's get through. We got a lot of drink, okay? Um, I have forgotten the question order. Which is really fucked. There's... It hap... But nothing happens. Well, can... How is there no way to check this? I'm sorry, m'lady. Um, okay. Oh, I fucked it up. It doesn't work anymore. Ah, uh, do I save scum this? <sighs> All right, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to I'm going to save here. I'm going to reload the old save, and if I feel like this is something that's real, I just want to see what it is at this point, because I'm curious. If it's not that important, I won't, I won't use the save. I know this is a bit naughty, but this is going to bother me for the rest of the day, so I need to kind of see it. All right? All right? Okay. All right. It's three, one, three. Oh, we just get a bunch of... Holy shit. All right. Well, I don't feel like I need it. So I think we can just go back to our old save. Um, man, that's going to suck. Well, okay. Well, I, I had the answers. I assume this is going to happen again. So in the future, now we know. So let me load up the previous save. We're a failure. We're a disturbing failure. All right, in this timeline. So sad. Um, all right, so I got another ring though. I'm gonna put a ring on that finger. You like lead? I hope the disembodied hand 
or partially embodied hand, I suppose, likes rings, likes lead. It's engraved with a disgusting, bloated face. It's not that disgusting. Hey! Okay, I... We, we need to talk about this. You've been in my way. There's a note on the ground. The handwriting is hard to read. I took the director's key. The one to the museum. I hid it behind the praying woman when I went out for the day trip. I picked it up, but I did not steal it. I'm not a criminal. Criminal? Um... Okay, cool. Thanks for leaving that for us to read. A praying woman. Oh god, that's a creepy... No, we're good. So let's go up real quick. Sorry, I don't want to go there. I am good. Uh, let's try this door. Oh, okay, well, fine. If you don't want to let me in, that's okay. Okay. Let's try this door. Oh, we can Okay, so we have to go here. That's lovely. I love that. Wouldn't get my ears savaged. Oh! Whoa! Where'd he come from? Oh, he's just beating up Maria. Come on, Maria. We gotta run. Maria is just fine with it. She's just... What am I hearing? No way. Hit the open door! Oh, okay. It's not working. Oh. Okay, that was so abrupt, I was just kind of caught off guard. <laughs> the music started. Trick or treat! No, <laughs> I kill the moon? Well... Oh, Jesus. This is why we gotta work on your upper body strength, James. Now, where are we? Are we back on the first floor? Okay, things have changed. Okay, this place is open now, so I assume one of these is gonna work. Oh, wow, no. Is everything locked on the first floor? There's just one piano lick here. Actually, I don't know if you'd call it a lick. Oh, there we go. There's something different. Different chord there. Books about medicine, the town, and the region are lined up here. I don't have the time to stand around reading all this. Oh, look at that little portrait on the left. That's kind of cool. I like that. What is this growth on the floor, though? There's an old book here about the history of Silent Hill. Oh, but I can't read it. I don't have time. He who is not gold... Oh, actually, you know, yeah, there we go. <laughs> he who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. What? 
<laughs> he who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. Okay, sure, sure. The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. There's a letter and a wrench. Ah, yes, the wrench. The magic wrench. Okay. Okay, we're gonna not go there. We're gonna... We're gonna fully explore the town when we're there. So we'll go there last. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. Oh, there's Laura. She's just... She's fine. You got Maria killed! No? Okay. Okay. Um, I think we're good on this room. Is that everything? No, we got some rooms we can still check. Let's see. Ah, yes. Do you like locked doors? I love them. Um, okay. Literally nothing we can do here. It's time to go. I'm sorry, Maria. Um, let's actually save. Well, it's really the worst timeline. I don't have any equipment and Maria got taken by Pyramid Head. Maybe killed. We're not sure yet. I won't say anything until I see a body. Uh, or we get told that Maria's dead. I couldn't protect her and Laura has run off somewhere. That's not his voice, but once again, I couldn't do anything to help. Mary, what should I do? Are you really waiting somewhere for me? Or is this your way of taking? I'm going to find Mary. It's the only thing I have left to hope for. What was that first bit, though? Is this your way of taking what? Oh man. There's someone behind me, little bastards. Oh, the nurses are out. Why? Who let them out of the hospital? Alright, well, we're just. Dude, holy crap, it's an army of nurses! the hell am I going so this leads back to where we want to go but I want to go this way if you don't stare into the abyss it won't stare back or whatever the hell they're talking about okay all right we get it guys you like to scream and tip tap your feet we get it it's okay I love that for you guys, but I'm a bit preoccupied. I preferred the uh, hoodie guys. I think in retrospect, they're probably more like straight jackets, but I think I've only ever seen straight jackets like up here not like down here but i think going along with the themes of mental illness and insanity i assume they're supposed to be more reminiscent of straight jackets but maybe i'm reading into it maybe i was right the first time i don't really i wonder what the fr oh rifle ammo okay i like the sound of that oh jesus run for your life i wonder if i could have dropped down there and maybe shot it or something i'm just not gonna even bother i'm just oh god what are these things they're like the same guys and hold on i need to take a better look they got like little mouths on their hands and they're like licking me look at them can i get a better look jesus christ dude yeah, they're a lot like the other enemies. They've got that weird mouth feature. God damn, that scared me. Okay, we're not too injured or anything. Now it's unlocked. 
Where the hell is this? Okay, we are gonna properly explore this place this time. It's a bit unfortunate I didn't get a chance before. So there might have been some... I think things have changed because it's definitely a lot darker. Um, but I... Okay, so we're in a trailer. There's a memo lying on the sofa. I'll wait at Barneely's. Oh, okay. Barneely's? Sure. I will head there when I can't motor home. I don't know if I preferred the fog over the just absolute darkness. Well, the mannequins are still out and about at least. Well, I missed you guys. Dude, what the hell is that supposed to be? Is that a dude on an exercise bike? But the dude looks like a little dog. Super twist. Oh, that's a freaky picture, guys. Oh. Run away. Run away. <laughs> it seems that they're attracted to light. That's why people who need light to see are their natural prey. They also react strongly to sound. If you want to go on living, you'd be better off just sitting in the dark and staying quiet. But even that probably won't save you. I saw those demons. They were there, I'm certain. But my friend says he didn't see anything. If that's true, does that mean that's what I that what I saw was an illusion? But whether that demon that eight human beings was real or whether it was just some kind of hallucination that my mind dreamed up, one thing I know for sure is that I'm beyond all hope. Holy. Okay, so some people didn't see him? There's a memo pad on the ground. I'm going to write everything that I've learned so far. Maybe that'll help you out somehow. If you're reading this, it probably means I'm already dead. Yep. So true. So true. Um, oh, whoops. I, let me read that again. If you're going to try to fight them, the most important thing is to relax. It's dangerous to fire a gun while you're all crazy with fear. Take good game. Took good aim. Take good aim. <laughs> take good aim and then squeeze the trigger. And don't forget to finish them off. I think most of these creatures can be killed even if they are tougher than people. Okay, well, the light, the sound, and the aiming, we all got that. So probably would have been good for me to find that a little bit earlier. But um, that's on me. I definitely should have played this game on hard. Maybe I'm saying that too soon, but so far it's pretty trivial, I would say, to be honest. Um, can we... The door that wakes in darkness opening into nightmares. Well, it's darkness. Okay, so we are back here. Okay, well, we need to use the wrench for... The Rosewater Park. So let's head back right now. Opening into Nightmare. That's odd. Not odd. That's ominous, I would say. It's probably a better way to describe that. Okay, we have we have done a full lap, I think. So I don't think I've missed that. I, okay, I, you know what? I'm going to say I don't think I missed anything. Probably missed something. What can you do? I'm blind. Um, ooh, 319. Wait. So, or 613 maybe? Or something? Wait, why did I say 9? 13316. Oh, Jesus. Jump scare. Um, Alright, well, I'll keep that in mind if something comes up. But I don't think I can interact with that. Nice. Okay, we did not know we could go in here. Oh, Jesus. Whoa! If you really want to see Mary, you should just die. But you might be heading to a different place than Mary, James. Uh, there was a hole here. It's gone now. Did I miss something here? Oh, what the hell, bro? What does this mean? 
I think I'm right. I think I'm in purgatory. And I think Mary... I think James probably is not a good person. I mean, so far he seems good, but I feel like... Like, the way he says some stuff is kind of ominous. And again, how do you end up here, man? I'm I'm a bit con- that, that messed me up. Okay, well, now I'm really concerned. Either that or this is all actually just happening. And there's no afterlife component to this, but that seems, that seems, I mean, honestly, it's this horror game, so who knows. All right, I think we've done a full, full rundown of the area, so as best as I can. So I'm gonna check this out, see what we can get. Mm. Hello? No? Oh. Wait, what the hell? Letter wrench. Oh, here, maybe? There we go. Or perhaps you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. A part of that abyss is in the old society. The key to the society is in the park at the foot of the praying woman, inside of the ground, inside of a box. To open it, I need a wrench. My patient buried it there, I knew, but did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth, I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing, I fled, but the museum was sealed as well. Now no one dares to approach that place. If you still do not wish to stop, James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. What, is, what does that mean? Who? Who is this? Is this... Our doctor? Or something? Mary's doctor? Alright, let's check out the bowling alley. Bowlerama? Eddie, you still in there? The music's still a vibe. Okay, he's not there. The bowling ball is. What was with that bowling ball? I still don't understand why it rolled over. Can I pick it up? Dude, I wanna... I wanna hit this goddamn one bowling pin. Just staring at me, bro. <laughs> no? Okay. All right, well, funny that the music's still here, even though there's nothing to do in here. Besides see that Eddie's gone. Okay, I think we've kind of explored this area as well. I haven't seen anything. Again, maybe I missed something. I do apologize if I have. You can let me know if it's not too late. I will dig. Okay. I will now use the wrench. And we'll see what happens. Oh, and there's a key inside. Old bronze key, and that's for the society or whatever. Maybe I should check out the rest of Rosewater while we're here. I was hoping the dialogue or something on these things would change, but they didn't. They're still scratched out. It's a bit annoying. But let's check this place out, too. I assume it's just going to be... Oh, wait. Or the water's all gone. Okay, that's not good. Yeah. 
Okay, here we are. Let's see what we got in here. Nothing so far. Okay. Um, what do we want to do? Do we want to keep going? I think I'm going to cut out a lot of my exploring. So it's going to be kind of a shorter episode. Uh... Let's look, let's take a look around for a bit and then um, I probably will wrap it up. So let's, but let's go in here. We'll see if we can. Oh, hello. Oh, and we got more of those people in like little cages. There's something of particular interest in this case. It looks interesting to me. Some people here. There's probably, there probably used to be a painting here. Only the explanation remains. Waterfront landscape. Alan Smith, date of birth and death unknown. A scene of this area from long ago. From the style, it looks like it was done sometime around 1820. There were a lot of fewer people then and only a handful of buildings. Before I read that one, I went, a photo is hanging here. Wilts Coal Mine. Okay. All right, let's see what this says. Dude, what are these people in the cages? So weird, man. And this dude's just like posing. Misty day remains of the judgment. It's him. Okay. Well, something just went through here like a bulldozer. There's nothing useful written. Nothing special. A photo is hanging. A photo of the director of the old Brookhaven Hospital. I love that sound. It looks like he was a famous person in town. This guy's got to be important because he's he's the one who's writing notes about people being able to see past the like the 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 realm or well you know see a different dimension essentially. Some dude took his key, and then I'm assuming the director was the one who wrote that other letter, because he was talking about his patient, right? Pyramid head painting. Like, there's a letter and a wrench. So who wrote this? We don't know. My patient. So I assume the director is going to be important. Like he keeps coming up. There's a photo of a deep, deep hole. What could this be? The hole is was at Neely's, right? And then there's something down there. All right, let's see. We're looking into the abyss here. Wow, for most of these noises, this one's specifically quiet. Okay, we're longest staircase ever. We're still going, guys. Ten minute descent into hell. <laughs> so, how was everyone's day? Had a pretty good day, productive day. Got some work done. That's it? Okay. Some kind of document is lying here. September 11th, 1820. Prisoner number. Prisoner number at the Historical Society? C221. Sorry, C221. I can't read the rest. What is this? What? What do you mean you can't read the rest? Okay, it's really quiet now. Something just is hitting the walls there. And what's in here? What's this? Oh boy. Okay, something is... Oh, this is a freaking hoodie, man.
Yeah, see, I got the input there again. I kept walking forward when I was reloading. Okay, creepy. So we got prisoners in here now? Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? A painting is hanging here. Crimson and white banquet for the gods. Oh, lovely. Look at these things. A photo is hanging here. Death by skewering. An execution at the prison. Death by skewering or strangling. To choose his death is the prisoner's last taste of freedom. Why do they get all bloated? Photos hanging here. Toluca prison camp. Built during the Civil War. Later became Toluca prison. Okay. This is going to get demented. Oh, this is the freaking hole. Okay, we're good right now. We'll check out the hole later. We'll check out the hole later, guys. It's fine. I'm not really a hole kind of guy. I like ladders. I like stairs. Um... You know, escalators? I'm not a huge fan of just jumping into a hole, though. Only one way to go. We gotta go into the abyss. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Why not? Dude, so much of Signalis is inspired by this game. It's actually insane. I've been checking Mary's photograph because I'm, like, half convinced it's gonna start changing. Like, freaking Esther's. Oh, we just fell. Oh, we're dead. We broke our legs. No? We're good. Whoa, what the hell? It's like a, like on a floating surface. It looks like it keeps descending or it's a reflection. Okay, insane play by James there to just jump into the hole. I respect it though. I did help him make that decision. Um, I don't have a map of this area. That's fine. Um, what are we gonna, can we use this? No. See, I keep checking this because, like, in Signalis, it, like, changed over time. And I feel like that was probably inspired. Um, but I might be overthinking it. It's just a wall. Oh, okay, so we can't climb. So what? We're just doomed? Worst ending. Can I jump? I can't look. No. Let's equip this. Okay, I made a horrible choice. I don't know what to do, guys. I'm stuck in a well. James isn't looking at anything either, so I feel like I can't interact with shit. It's okay. I'm just dead, I guess. Okay. We're in Toluca Lake or something. Um... Uh, okay, well, what's the plan? <sighs> I'm just going to wait a bit. Maybe we just have to wait. All right, I've been waiting here for a while. I literally don't know what to do. 
Um, if I can't solve this, I'm just gonna. S oh. That's fun. Okay, that's great. That was also awfully loud. All right, well, there you go. I was literally going to be like, if I don't know what to do here, I'm just going to let you guys tell me for the next episode. But I just had to keep clicking shit until it was different, I guess. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Key with a slim three inch long cylinder attached. The cylinder is engraved with spiral writing. Yeah, but what does that say? I can't, something the. Oh wait, I'm stupid. Tis doubt which leadeth thee to purgatory. Hmm. Wait, my flashlight's not working? Oh my God. No, what is up with these rooms? I've been trapped. Oh God. What am I doing wrong? Jesus Christ, bro. What a nightmare. Oh, and I don't have a map, so I can't... F okay. Ugh. There's, wait, what? Oh my god. There's a door at the bottom. The door is locked. We're going to do a perspective shift or something. Look at this. Oh god. This is... we've Okay, we've officially gone into hell. That's it. There's nothing else to it. Alright, we definitely need to find a save point. I could save, I guess, using the... Um, just using the menu thing, but let's just try to do it. Do it au natural, you know what I'm saying? Okay, this game is really ahead of its time. I won't lie. It's really doing things that I don't think we see modern games do. And this was like in 2001. So it's like really impressive. And you can definitely tell games like Alan Wake and Control and Signalis all um i mean i'm sure plenty of other horror games i'm just not a super like well well versed in horror game like the horror genre but you can definitely tell this probably inspired a lot like signalis especially took a huge amount of inspiration from this and i keep i keep pressing this like it's gonna do anything else um and i think i just used the key right should have just done that okay Let's do this. We are gonna fall. Oh, no, we're just, let's just jump down. Yeah, I'm gonna, again, apparently our legs don't break. Dude, you're hesitant about this one, bro? Wee. Oh, we're just landing on our butt. We're all good though. We got a hospital, now we got a prison. Oh, what? Is this Eddie? Jesus, where the hell did you... How'd you get here? 
killing a person ain't no big deal. Jesus, he's insane. Just put the gun to their head. Pow. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Oh, he just killed someone too? You killed him? But, but, but it wasn't my fault. He, he made me do it. Is he at his insane? Down, Tell me what happened. That guy, he, he had it coming. I didn't do anything. He just came after me. Besides, he was making fun of me with his eyes, like that other one. Just for that, you killed him? What do you mean, just for that? Eddie, you can't just kill someone. <laughs> the switch between cutscenes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah? Why not? Till now, I always let people walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. What dog? He had it coming too. Oh. Eddie. Come on, Eddie. What the hell, bro? I was just joking, James. He was dead when I got here. Honest. Anyway, I gotta run. You're going out there alone? Bro, Eddie. Yeah. Yeah. Eddie? <laughs> yeah. Okay, everyone is crazy. They just shot him in the head. Jesus Christ. It's a corpse. The body is marked with bullet holes. Yeah, but it looks like a pretty old body, too. But... Okay, Eddie's a freak. Not surprised. We kind of knew that. Hopefully he's not eating people. That might be why he's throwing up so much. Um, I got the tablet of gluttonous pig. <laughs> oh, what, is everyone supposed to be a, a sin or something? Look at that. Metal tablet with gluttonous pig drawn on one side. Found it in the dining room. This looks like something like a Mayan design or something. Look at that. Okay, okay, we're gonna leave it here. This is getting really insanely interesting. I'm I, every 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 development is just out of this world. Um, nineteen fifty six. Okay, buttered carrots. Oh, guys, it's so weird, this game. It's so weird and so good. All right. Um, we'll see what happens, guys. I'm sorry. I, I just... Uh, I don't have time for more. But uh, we went from a historical building to a prison. We had a game show. That's nice. Uh, that was fun. little bit of levity there. Um, bizarre levity. Uh, Maria died... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if she died, but we'll see. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I am thoroughly confused, but I also feel like we're getting a picture of maybe some kind of like... James is a mental patient. Maybe he became... Maybe he was imprisoned as well. Or this is all happening in reality. You know, it's one of those things where like, what's real, what's not? That's kind of the whole point. Um, we know his mother was sick. Not his mother. What am I saying? His wife. But we also know she's like, there's messages saying he's a shit, like he's going to hell essentially. That was like the implication from that message at Neely's bar. The director was saying some, let me read what he said again. I've read this like five times and I keep pressing Y. Um, a part of that abyss, right? And that praying woman was someone who is persecuted. That thing, I assume, might be Pyramid Head. If you do not wish, I prayed. Yeah, so there's something about this. And this was what? Remains of the judgment. We saw some people were doing a dinner to the gods or something. They were killing prisoners. So there's like maybe it's one of those things where it's like there's stuff happening in reality. There's stuff happening not in reality like how is the psyche interfering with reality kind of stuff we know that there's some crazy ass people eddie angela laura maria i don't know man all right this is awesome we'll see what happens uh, i'll see you again soon